Welcome back to Great Day Washington. The newest way to watch content is called Quibi, and it's led by one of the leading businesswomen in the world, Meg Whitman. I caught up with Meg to talk to her about this newest startup. Meg, thank you for being here this morning with Great Day Washington, and congratulations on a successful launch of Quibi. Well, thank you very much. I'm delighted to be with you this morning. Yeah, we got off to a, to a great start. 1.7 million downloads as of Monday uh, for a brand new app and a brand new company. We're pleased, so thank you for saying so. Well, and for people that haven't um, checked it out yet, can you, what is Quibi? What would you, how would you explain it? Yeah, so Quibi is an app. You go to the Apple Store or the um, Google Play Store to download the app onto your phone. And it is a premium entertainment subscription service that is designed to really marry the best of Hollywood, quality content, stars, producers, writers, and directors with a new technology platform that makes viewing video on your mobile incredible and, and uh, you know, much better than it's ever been. And viewing video on your mobile today is great, but mm -hmm. we have um, an engineered a system where it is full screen video, whether you hold your phone in portrait or landscape, so you can watch the way you want to watch. Every episode is 10 minutes or less, and so it's designed to fill those in-between moments that everyone has in their day. You co-founded this company with Jeffrey Katzenberg, for those that don't know, who also co-founded DreamWorks. Um, you were former CEO of eBay and HP. So what made you two come together to, to start this tech company? Yeah, well, he and I worked at Disney together many, many years ago. When he was head of the Walt Disney Studios, I ran consumer marketing for, um, I was the head of marketing for the consumer products division. So we got to know each other there and we stayed in touch. And then I was on his board when he took DreamWorks Animation public. And so we've stayed friends for well over 30 years. And when I said I was stepping down from HP, he called me immediately and he said, what are you doing? I said, I don't know. I'm you know, going to take some time off. I'm the chairman of Teach for America, which I care deeply about. And he said, no, what are you doing tonight? And he flew up from Los Angeles to have dinner and uh, told me about this little idea that he had. And I said, you know what? It's a really good idea. It's a perfect marriage of Hollywood and Silicon Valley, media and technology. I think I got one more startup in me. So that's how we got together and we worked hard on the, uh, you know, the idea. And, and then we set out to start building the company in August of 2018. Well, and of course, this isn't the, the ideal atmosphere that you had hoped to launch a new company. So what did you guys have to do when the pandemic started and the shutdowns began to really pivot and, and figure this out? Great question. So we had to change a lot of things. Um, the first decision is, do we think it was still the right thing to do to launch? Right. And ultimately, we decided it was because we're not medical professionals. We're not first responders. And we thought, but our content could bring a little joy and distraction and levity to um, people who are you know, now at home all the time in, in somewhat challenging situations, I think, many times. So we decided to go ahead. But first is we had a physical launch event. We said, well, we can't do that anymore. We have to do a digital launch event. And we had 36 of our stars do an Instagram live event where they interviewed each other about what it was like to be in the pandemic. And of course, there could be shows. Then we had to change all our media because we had um, been scheduled to buy media on the final four and the NBA finals. Of course, those aren't taking place. So we had to redeploy our media to other areas. We had to all learn how to work at home. We had 250 people who work at the company. On March 14th, we all went home. And so we had to learn how to do that. And then we had to um, make sure that we had enough content and that we could manage the technology from remote locations. And like you, you've been incredibly innovative about how you've done it. All our daily essentials right. had to be stood up in an entirely new environment as opposed to the studio that had been built for us. So lots and lots of challenges. Before I let you go, I've already got one of my favorite on there. It's called Thanks a Million, where the celebrities give $100,000 to deserving people. But what's your favorite so far? Yeah. Well, I think one of my um, favorite movies is um, Survive with Sophie Turner, who was in Game of Thrones. And it's a, a love story after a plane crash, which is really gripping. I love the LeBron James documentary, and I love um, Thanks a Million. So those are among my favorites, but I have to say I love all my children. <laughs> of course, of course. You wouldn't, you wouldn't put it on the app if you didn't. And uh, once again, congrats on a successful launch with this innovative technology, and thank you for joining us this morning.
Thank you very much. All Take right. care now. Be See, safe. You too. Thank you. Quibi is fun. 10 minutes or less, right? Watch Thanks a Million. I've been watching it before bed, and it's been a nice, heartwarming addition to my day.